And thank you for having me. I am Sans book today, Sans workbook, because we recently remodeled our house and in the process we had a ton of rooms that had to be redone and so we took all of our stuff that we couldn't fit somewhere in the house and put it in a storage pod and then when we could no longer afford the storage pod and the house was pretty much done, we just shoved it all in the spare bedroom and so I do have the textbook somewhere. <laughs> it's in the mountain of stuff that I have so please excuse that. This is my bag of hope and I'm using it as a visual aid for my humorous speech. And you have all received little note cards, hopefully. Um, take one and pass it down, okay. where I'm kind of taking my humorous speech and asking for some audience participation in this. As you know, my speech is titled, Live, Laugh, Love. I want you to first think of your favorite pastime. Something you do that if you were to say it in either a phrase or a word, what would you consider yourself as a pastime? You could be really into the sport that you're into, you could be really into what you do as a job. What's your favorite pastime? And write that down. And secondly, I want you to think of your a Disney movie that has a character that you relate to. Who is that character and what movie is it from? And finally, I want you to think of your favorite song. And I get that your favorite song changes day to day, moment to moment. Right now, what's your favorite song? And please note that as you jot this down, you will not be asked to share it if you don't want to. <laughs> you can keep it to yourself. Now my favorite pastime, as some people already know, is yoga. And I do yoga on a regular basis. Come hell or high water, which is a legal term, I do yoga. I do it very often, and interesting fun fact. Recently I've learned that the New England Patriots do yoga as a way, uh, absolutely, as a way to prevent sports in injuries, and if they have a sports injury, they're able to use yoga to heal faster than they would have anticipated. So that's kind of neat, and also, according to Time Magazine, more men are doing yoga now, which really warms my heart. <laughs> yoga is my not only what defines me, but what I do as a pastime. It's something that I do to balance myself, to push myself, but also to learn to pace myself. And it's funny because there's one move in particular that it's taken me years to get there. When I very first went into yoga, it was my best friend, Allison, who invited me. And this woman is just a remarkable person. I met her in an accounting class, and she sat next to me, and we, we just struck up a conversation, and we be, we've been best friends ever since. And she introduced me to yoga. We went all the way out to Lehigh, which is so far from Murray. I live right down the street. I'm going all the way out to Lehigh because she is in Provo and I'm in Murray. And we decided, well, we want to get together more often. Let's get together doing yoga. And the first time I went, it was hilarious because some of you don't know this about me. It's kind of humorous until it's not. <laughs> I have vertigo. And it's so bad to the point where if I close my eyes, I have to like grab onto a wall. And it's funny until it's not. One time I was driving and I had a passenger in the car and I got so dizzy, I had to pull over and call my husband and say, honey, can you pick me up? And he's like, why, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm dizzy. He's like, are you being serious? Are you being serious? I'm like, I can't drive, I'm so dizzy. And it's funny because when I'm washing my hair, I have to grab onto the sides of the shower and it's just like, cool. So when I'm doing yoga, some of the poses, like your head is down under and you can't see around you. And so the first time I did this yoga, it's hot yoga, 105 degrees for 90 minutes, it's insane. I would fall over and fall over and laugh about it and fall over. And it was a difficult lesson to learn. I learned it the hard way because rather than researching it and finding out about it and trying to find a cure for it and doing things to make it go away, I just let myself fall over and fall over. And the cool thing with the yoga is no one laughed at me. No one made fun of me. Even though I personally like find humor in it, they were kind enough to realize I'm doing my best and it's okay that I fall over and don't balance every time because we're all just trying to do our very best. The next thing I wanted to bring up in my humorous speech is the movie character, Disney character that you relate best to. Now the example I bring up is Finding Nemo. Based on the character you chose, 
think of the attributes that this character has that you really relate to. You're like, oh, my, my character is definitely Nemo, or oh, my character is definitely this other character from your favorite Disney movie, or maybe it's just the character that's your favorite. What you start to realize over time is, even though there's one particular character that you're like, oh, I'm Mary Poppins. <laughs> if you watch the whole film in its entirety, you will find a little bit of yourself in just about every character. For better or for worse, for rich or for poor, till death do you part, you'll find yourself in other characters. This is something I treasure very much because I'm an avid reader. In fact, I read so much that I can't possibly read one book at a time. If I go to the library, check out multiple books, I read them over and over again, I love to read. And recently I went to the farmer's market and found this. And if it, it's hard to read, it's because of the way it was made, but it says gratitude. And it's a book that's folded to say the word gratitude. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. I can't take credit for it, I only bought it. The reason why this spoke so much to me, not only because it's purple and I'm a wildcat, but to take your experiences, your failures, your falling over, your character, your multiple characters for better or for worse, and find the gratitude in it, and to look at life and just say, you know what, for rich or for poor, for better or for worse, this is who I am, this is who you are, this is who we are, and we're all doing our best, and to be grateful for it, that's when life becomes rich. And that's when the humor is present in every situation because you're able to take life lightly and laugh at yourself and enjoy the moment, whether the moment's falling over or flying or simply being together, such is life. I wanted to end with one quick lyric from a very good song that I enjoy listening to. Not necessarily my favorite song, but it's talking about if you could go back in life and talk to the younger you, what advice would you have for this person? What would you say to the younger you that was struggling and just doing its best but also failing miserably? What would you say? And this song is by an Australian band called For King and Country. And they say, I love like I'm not scared. I'd give when it's not fair. I'd fight for the weak ones. I'd speak up for freedom. The songs you listen to, the media that you encounter, the people that you reach in your life, they all matter. And you matter. So live life to the fullest and enjoy the gratitude.